Recently, this idea that sex is assigned at birth has taken over the narrative of our culture. But this idea is wrong and dangerous, and here's why. Saying that sex is assigned at birth makes a false assumption that sex is something that can be changed if we don't like how our parents assigned us. But our sex is not assigned, it's acknowledged. Now here's a helpful example I heard recently. When I was born, there were things about me that were assigned, and there were things about me that were acknowledged. One of the things that was assigned to me was my name. My parents were debating between three different names at the time of my birth, and they decided to name me Alexander. But if they had named me Michael or Richard, I would not be a different person than I am now. But sex is not like a name. It's like my blood type. My parents acknowledged my blood type being O positive. They didn't assign that. They had no power over the reality of what my blood type was. And now even if I wanted to say my blood type is A positive, because I feel like it is, that would in no way change the truth of me having O positive blood. So you see, sex is not something that's assigned like our name. Sex is something that's acknowledged like our blood type. Our sex is determined at the moment of conception, not by any human being, but by God himself. In Genesis 1, it says, So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God is the one who has created each and every one of us, and he is good. We don't assign sex at birth. We acknowledge the sex God has already given to us, and we find freedom and joy when we reject these false and dangerous ideas and conform our lives to the reality of who God has created us to be.